Now, one of our complaints on the show is that uh, we don't have enough regulation to make sure that uh, plants and, and other factories, et cetera, throughout the country are uh, safe. So, especially in the nuclear power plant industry, you might want to make doubly sure. Unfortunately, what we've been doing is making things less and less safe and less and less regulated. In fact, Republican Commissioner William Ostendorf recently yelled at the Nuclear Regulatory Commission and shouted at the top agency investigators saying that uh, regulating nuclear plants is a waste of resources, further regulating them. Well, is that really true? Let's look at the example of the Palisades nuclear power plant in southwestern Michigan, where apparently we have slight leakage, maybe. Not maybe in that there's leakage, maybe that it's only slight. Well, they say that, okay, fine, it did leak, but the quote here, although the tank has leaked twice in less than a year, officials say there is no immediate risk. I know, the officials always say that. <laughs> it's leaked twice now, and it's radioactive, but nothing to see here, move along, move along. Uh, I'm sure the industry that's making a lot of money is always correct, and I'm sure there's no health uh, problems. Now, it gets a little worse. The NRC, and these are the guys that are supposed to be doing the regulation, that from time to time get yelled at for the slight regulation that they do do, say, the officials estimate 79 gallons of slightly radioactive water flowed into Lake Michigan over the weekend. Oops. Well, how radioactive was slightly radioactive? Quote, officials reportedly don't know exactly how radioactive the leaked water was. Well then, how do you know it was slight? And that doesn't seem to make too much sense. This is exactly what people do all the time. The government covering for corporate interests who say, look away, don't worry, when in reality, you should be deeply worried. In the BP disaster in the Gulf, the Obama administration, and of course, all the Republicans as well, time and time again, covered up for BP. Oh, no, no, we can't see the water. They use the dispersants. We later found out the dispersants made the oil in the water 52 times more toxic. Oh, but look away, look away. I don't, you see the oil? I don't see the oil. It's at the bottom of the ocean and it's more, to more toxic. It's okay, it's okay. No, 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 we struck a deal with BP and we're gonna get some of that money back. And in this case, we had some leakage into Lake Michigan. It's radioactive slightly, though we don't really know how much. Good luck. No, this is not something that you mess around with. This is a serious, serious problem, but unfortunately, until there's a giant explosion, as happened in West Texas in a fertilizer plant, nobody takes it seriously. And oftentimes, even after those explosions, they don't take it seriously. No one got arrested. The company only had a million dollars in insurance, which is comical. Nobody's going to get compensated. What happens? The taxpayers pay the bills. And in that particular case, people died. And if you have an accident in a nuclear power plant, a lot more people can die and be injured than even happened in West Texas. For the love of God, check in on them. That's the job of the government, is to regulate so that you protect the citizens, not the corporations.